Good afternoon. Today's video is 139 LaSalle Street, Hopeton, on the market with Northwest Real Estate for $170,000. This home has been a rental for a number of years and uh, been a bit neglected, um, but it's got good bones, I think. You could do with a little bit of levelling in this uh, front left-hand corner, as you can probably see from the video there. We'll go and have a look inside and see what you think. So I'm just in the front entry foyer and we've got a pine lined wall, a bit of a feature wall, would have been all the go in the day, probably when the house was built in the 70s, around to the lounge. It drops away into that corner where the, the window is there. The wood heater, uh, yeah, worked the last time it was used, but I think I'd uh, get a new one. Around into the dining room, the weather wall. I don't know if any of the appliances work. We've got no power. Uh, they were good in the day, but not very efficient. So you pull that out and put a split system or a few split systems in. Around to the kitchen. It's fairly artistic, isn't it? Look at that. Uh, the old stove. Spots for the fridge. So we're on mains power, mains water, sewer. No gas, it's uh, bottle gas. This is the pantry. There's not too many right angles in this place. It's, uh, it's pretty f unreal actually. Must have been an architect in, uh, involved in building it. So we've got, we'll call this bedroom one. We've got a ceiling fan, it doesn't look that old. Got window mounted air conditioner, you throw that out and built-in robes. It all needs a good paint, a bit of plaster work, some doors need fixing up. Around to bedroom two. Uh, once again, that air conditioner would go to the tip and the built-in robes need a little bit of attention. Around to bedroom three, ceiling fan, built-in robes. As you can see, the marks on the wall will have to be tidied up before it was painted. Floorboards aren't bad, they can polish up okay. Got a linen press there. It's a bit dark here because there's a broken window and there's a board across it, but uh, Got a shower, vanity missing a drawer, bath, mic cell up there, so fix the window, a bit of a tension around the shower there as you can see, It'll come up okay. Back around to the kitchen, another broken window there in the dining room. Now this room here, this is quite a big room. This room actually makes the house. So of course, cool. like a family room, it's huge. Looks back into the kitchen, got a ceiling fan there. A few holes in the plaster. Door missing. This is into the laundry. And into the toilet. That goes back into the passage near the uh, near the bathroom. A few stains on the ceiling. What a large toilet. So I'm just at the back door. We've got a pergola area, shade cloths come adrift. And a bit of artistic flair there on the wall. Through to the double carport. Uh, the doors aren't quite working properly, but all in all, it's a pretty good carport. And we've got the heat pump hot water service. The hill's hoist. Well, this is a bad example of a hill's hoist. This is, well, you make me cry looking at one like this. That's been uh, destroyed. This little fibro shack here, it's full of rubbish. Um, oh, I think it'd all go to the tip. Could be saved if you wanted it to, but 
yeah, I don't see there's any point. And the shed, there's a rear lane, so the block block's on a corner, and there is a rear lane across the back as well. So I open the shed. Good shed. Good concrete floor. Plenty of power. I don't know. I don't know that the power is still connected out here, although you'd probably guess that it might be, but it needs an upgrade anyway. But yeah, rip and shed. Two doors there, roughly, yeah, roughly 20 by 20 or 25 by 22 or something. Good size, nice and high too. So I've just come back out of the shed and shown you the back of the house. You can see the pergola side of the carport. Right behind us is the school. So kids should never be late to school. So this is 139 LaSalle Street, Hopeton, on the market with Northwest Real Estate for $170,000. Three bedrooms, one bathroom, four car spaces, corner block that backs onto the secondary college or the P12 school, I think it is now. Uh, it's a really, it's a really strong, solid house, but it does need some work. If you want any more information on this property, you can contact myself, John Hadley, on 0428 560 630. And thank you for watching my video.